Welcome back to Daughters of Ash, everyone. It has been a while, right? Well, specifically... No, 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 it has been a while. I think I last uploaded a Daughters of Ash video on Friday, which was quite a few days ago. As I promised at the end of the last episode, I came back to the depths because I genuinely think that this is probably the best path for moving forward or the most likely path yeah, uh, yeah, shit's been just, you know, pretty standard. It's just, Sunday I got sidetracked. What was it? I, I, I didn't catch the name. I always forget everything has new names in this game. Shit, I'm not gonna catch it, am I? Whatever. Whatever. Um... Sunday, yeah, I didn't feel like recording. I was just not up to it. I got sidetracked a little bit. And then on Monday, I was streaming on twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead. If you have not followed me on Twitch, where I am currently streaming Demon Souls, as in currently, as in this time frame, it's not like... Not currently, as in when you see this video, I will be live on Twitch. Uh, not in that context. What the hell was that? But yeah, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I am now, and Saturdays, you know, I'm going to be on the good old Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead, firing up the Demon Souls and whatever other game I decided to play. Uh, seriously, Gaping Dragon? It looks like they put the summoner inside the Gaping Dragon boss fight room. Oh, wait, no. This might be like an ambush or something. Uh, yeah, currently playing Demon Souls. Which is actually fun. I'm emulating it on the PC. Which... I thought it was going to be a lot more finicky, but it wasn't too bad. Strangely, not as many people showed up as I thought they would. Uh, everybody's been asking me to play Demon's Souls for a hell of a long time. And... Oh, are you kidding me? They just give you the channelers... Okay, that's pretty... You know, You know how much I had to work for this weapon? Actually, I didn't have to work that hard for this weapon. When I was farming for it in the Ultimate Sorcerer's Guide, I got it pretty quickly. So I can't exactly complain. Uh, but they just give it to you. It looks like they're doing this with most of the rare drop weapons. Which I can respect, you know. I'm always of the mindset that there, there should be two ways to get items that are kind of tied to farming and shit like that. That's one of the reasons, you know, people have asked why there was never... there was never ultimate guides for sorcery and miracles for Dark Souls 3. The reason is because getting the items uh, needed for the covenants in Dark Souls 3, unless you're a PvP god, is a colossal and I mean truly colossal pain in the ass. Especially for someone like me who absolutely despises Dark Souls 3's PvP system and mechanics. You know. It's like... Okay, I'm about to get killed. It's like, you know, pick your poison. Do you want to farm for some item? from a couple of enemies with like a 0 0.06 drop rate or do you want to... I literally cannot get it out what what if, what was that hitbox are you oh. okay I got not pissed pissed is the wrong word but how come I cannot fucking stay the sluice works okay in human form for like more than five minutes I'm yawning anyways so it's either like you know 
farm from an enemy with like a 0.06 drop rate or go online boy you know again in a game where I think the PvP mechanics are absolutely god awful no offense to anyone who likes Dark Souls 3's PvP I just happen to think it's trash and anyone who likes it is trash as well I'm only kidding I'm only kidding Obviously, it's only partially trash, Dark Souls 3. Back to my original point, you know, that's why I say there should be two ways to get an item, I think. I really have a feeling that they're gonna pull some trick with this basilisk, or these basilisks, because there's more than one. They're gonna put one like behind you or some shit like that. But then again, I am powerful enough to handle these weak bitches. Okay, listen. As you can see, I am like really tryharding on using these pyromancies. And it's just not working. I have to be very careful because my curse meter is low. And it's a little bit unpredictable. W whoa, okay. Free large shard. That's very... Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. There's m way more of these guys than normally. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just like... Fucking... Hey, frog legs are delicious. Fry them bitches up. These are not even frogs. More large shards. Apparently you can eat iguanas as well, which workers key. Of course, people say it tastes like chicken because everything tastes like chicken. Workers key opens the wooden door to sluice work mess hall. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Few vacations in the under city were as pitiless as dredging duty. <laughs> Interesting. Talk about shoveling shit. That was quite funny. I saw this. I think it's on YouTube as well. Titled as the worst job in the world. This dude. I'm pretty sure he's Australian. And he is. Like legit. Literally a shit shoveler. As in his job. Not shit. Not even shit shoveler. He's like a poop diver. Because his job is to fix. Uh, like piping issues and any type of like mechanical issues in these like giant shit pools you know at water treatment plants I mean obviously he's like fully suited up so he's like you know proper sealed diver but still you know I think honestly First of all, he said that he gets paid a fuck ton of money because nobody wants to take the job, you know. And the other thing I was thinking of is that the dude who has to, like, suit him up and then clean him down probably has a way worse job than him. Like, you know, he's inside the suit. He cannot smell it. And by the time he's getting out of it, he's going to be, like, hosed down. But the motherfucker who has to, you know, dude comes out, hello, absolutely like caked in shit. And your job is to clean his suit. It's like, damn. There's not gonna be no bonfire here. I can already, like, I 100% know there's gonna be no, yep. Oh, hello. At least they put something here. Shimwai. Do you sell? You do sell. I was just about to say that I am running low on arrows. And holy shit, arrows are cheap in this game.
cool. Yeah, that's all we need. He has his stuff. He has gold pine. I'll, I'll, I'll get one. I'll get two gold pines. Does he sell infinite? Of course. Of course, of course. I'd trade you for a bonfire right about now, but can't exactly do that. So yeah, other than that, not much has been going on over here. Still quote unquote locked up, you know. I was just thinking the other day, uh, it's been well over a month, parish outskirts, that I've been to the office at work. I think I may have talked about this before and honestly I'm starting to really hate it. I'm starting to really hate it. Um, you know, because I'm a fairly social person I like you know and just even the stuff like you know just getting dressed in the morning you know listen I'm kind of you may not know this but I'm kind of like a sort of high beast you know I like you know dressing up nicely you know putting on a good pair of sneakers Trying to kill this dog, which is impossible. There we go. You know, just putting on a nice pair of sneakers, getting some clothes on, going to the office, you know, all that, like, normal part of living. And none of that is happening, you know. And, you know, people say there's, like, these guides online on how to survive during lockdown and shit like that. And they say that, if you're working from home you should dress up anyways but it feels like it feels weird it just feels weird uh, like I'm not gonna put on a pair of jeans and sneakers to sit at my computer where I'm sitting right now it just feels weird you know so I end up being in you know like a tracksuit all day or fucking hell that's so lucky I mean it missed you know, so I'll put on like a tracksuit or just a shirt or something and it just... It's just weird, you know, and just a weird overall thing. Plus again, the interaction, you know. Because sure, you have all the tools available, but it's still not as... Should I go down here? I mean, technically most of the enemies are dead, but I'm not gonna... What was I saying? Oh yeah, social interaction. You kinda start to miss it, you know. I'm gonna start going back to the office though, we're like reopening, but the issue is that because you know we can only run at like limited capacity, there's gonna be like a reservation system, so, but I'll book a couple of places, we'll see how it works, nobody knows how it's gonna work, but I'll try to get some through. Because, you know, I, th I definitely talked about this, that I got my car, my new car, like mid-March. And I put one, like, I think, I think I passed 300 kilometers today. Yeah, so in like, almost two months of me having it, I put 300 kilometers into it, which is like absolutely nothing. Sort of a pyromancer kind of crazy especially now that you know I see this trick especially now that like 
petrol is super super cheap you know so technically this would be the perfect time to have a car even a car like mine which you know to be fair it does not have oh she's not here it doesn't have the best fuel consumption i mean it's a 1.6 vti so it's kind of a stronger engine uh at the expense of fuel plus it's an automatic you know which automatics tend to have worse overall fuel consumption anyways but there's like nowhere for me to go you know i just took it to the mechanic today just to yeah, just to have an overlook, because I haven't actually taken it for a look uh, since I've had it. And, you know, they, like, did a couple of things to it, you know, like fuel filter and oil change and shit like that. And I paid, and I was leaving, and I was like, yeah, cool. Now the car is going to sit in front of my house for another week. Nice, Sue worth the cash but you know what can you do at least I can work from home all right we're back so first thing we're gonna do is visit the homie because oh What is he saying? Oh, because I have the great chaos. I see. I suppose I would, in any case, I definitely trust you. Forget that I said. I'm not going to say it because he is going to die. I'm assuming NPC quest lines are untouched. So if I tell him what's up, uh, he's going to kick, kick the basket as they say anyways what's the time oh we're still good actually man got quite a bit done I and mean, the depths isn't exactly the most complicated area but I'm more interested in the lower undead berg honestly Capra demon They're gonna they're gonna do some switch. Like for sure Capri Demon is not gonna be here. But we will see. We will see. Say so yeah, at Twitch, you know, that's the other big thing. Is that as of Mon as of Saturday actually, last Saturday, I'm streaming on Twitch. It's fun, you know. It's it's I'm having fun on it. Uh I mean, the core of it is the exact same thing as streaming here. The only thing is, of course, I'm not an affiliate yet on Twitch. So, you know, no subscribing, no bits, no Twitch Prime and all that. But I'm not that far away. I mean, I have like 33 followers, which again, if you haven't followed me yet, there on Twitch, make sure to give me a follow, it really helps out. Uh, it's not like pressuring or anything, just a strong suggestion. Should we do Capra? Fuck it. There's no reason. I fucking knew it. Didn't I say? They're go I knew they were going to pull some shit with Capra. It's another bong fire. Oh, wow. I mean, if it's here... I didn't even know need to go all the way back to Firelink then. But who could have known this? Uh, so yeah, Twitch. I'm like, what, 17 followers away from having 50, which is required. And then all I got to do is stream on more days... Oh sh- oh! Oh no! I got bamboozled. Man. That throat cut sure as hell didn't do a lot of damage. So I was gonna say... I think the other requirements are... 
you need to stream on seven different days and you need to I think average three viewers which I'm I'm managing to do I'm managing so yeah that should be that should be good because you know the thing about YouTube streaming is you don't make jack shit money from that either so it's like there's no difference the only question is and I do welcome comments about this I haven't posed this question anywhere whether you are interested in me uploading the VODs onto him. what he's just chilling there oh yeah This should be even easier, because no doggos. Man, okay. Somehow this is throwing me off. There is doggos. Oh, shit, 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 shit. They're fast. Uh-oh. Listen. That was a wipe. That was an absolute wipe. Okay, so, now that we know that, we are much more educated on this whole situation. Do these fools respawn? No, they do not. Okay. What I was saying is, I welcome comments and suggestions on whether you want to see the VODs on YouTube. Or, the other thing I was thinking of is just making highlights, stream highlights, and I could post those. I'll put it on Discord as well. Because, you know, it's, it's not a big deal getting the VODs up here, it's just whether you actually want to see them. That first Demon Soul stream was interesting. Uh, there were some interesting technical issues. Uh, what? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Capricious. Th oh, are you kidding me? He has Fuego. And he has a shit ton of HP. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, first things first. The stairs backed into this corner. A capricious chaos fiend has fled. What? I didn't even get to read that. He just fucked off. I think he just fucked off. That was really strange. Like, what the hell was that? These schmucks are back. That was really interesting. If I had to guess, he's gonna show up like in the demon ruins, right? Oh, why are you... This is more annoying than Capra. Yeah, I didn't expect to be... One shot by the Capra demon, honestly. Like, on my list of potential outcomes for this episode, that was not on the list. I'll tell you that much. So, yeah, just to finish my point, I p I'll post it on Discord as well. Uh, but if you want to see the VODs, I'm very happy to get them uploaded. Sable Rune. These runes, I don't know what the hell you do with them. I'll try figuring it out. But it's like, damn. The boy is not gonna be here. Because we already rescued him. Amber Tear Stone. Gotta change the name, right? Boost shields while HP is low. Okay. 
boosts the effectiveness of shields when it's where it is in danger. That's an interesting one. I wonder if it increases like general defense or there's a there's a lot more of these guys. But listen. This is this is the reason I bought 140 arrows, or however many. Oh, come on. You can really see, you know, that build viability is kind of diminished in this game because not not because of daughters of ash but in general like you know from really worked on making things like archery like way more useful in the other games you know the fact that you can move the fact that you don't miss like half the time you shoot someone but still easy as hell Oh, the peculiar doll. Okay. <coughs> Interesting. Strange wooden doll made from made for a kind-hearted guardian by an abandoned forlorn child. A band of undead marauders once set out to pillage the lost treasures in the city sluice works, but returned as hollows carrying only this doll. What slumbering horror did they disturb, and what attachment does it have to this child's toy? Okay. So we have to go back to the depths. It seems like it. Seems like it. The question is, can I unlock any of these? Yep. Okay, that's shortcut number one. And this one, kind of a pointless one, but let's get it. Fucking snake eater elevator right here. Okay, now I guess we'll go back to the depths. I didn't fully explore the place anyways. That was one thing for sure. Cool. Yeah, again, this this door was a little bit pointless uh, in the grand scheme of things, but hey, whatever. Man, a Capra fight had me shook. Like, what the hell is that? His second form was insanely powerful, but I guess it's like, I guess you're not meant to defeat it because oh, he just fucked off, you know. There's a lot of things happening in this game. In this mod, I mean. I'm liking most of it. In fact, so far I'm liking all of it. There hasn't been like a change that I really was like, eh, I don't know about this, boys. So GG's, mod makers, GG's. Hmm. I'm just thinking because I honestly thought there would be more stuff here uh, technically we have more large shards I think with a plus 10 weapon we will have a good shot at the iron golem and then we can get to probably get to Anorlando although I have a feeling you need to ring both bells to get to an Orlando. I haven't got the I haven't got the undead parish bell. I still don't know how to get the undead parish bell. That that part is a little unclear. Holy shit. It's the strongest enemy in the game.
Just want to explore the part with the giant rat. Knowing this game, the giant rat is gonna turn out to be a boss with like three forms. You know. The sluice works. I know it's not sluice work, it's sluice works, but it felt good saying sluice works. <laughs> It's not gonna be the spider shield. I think I, in fact, I already have its partisan. I honestly thought that was an enemy at first. What up? You're getting cheesed. And now the plunging attack sh for sure is gonna kill. Yep. Humanity. I feel like that should have dropped like some big grand item. S stock. Cool. Where else have I not explored in this place? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah up here, up here. I only have two flasks left, and how am I doing on time? I mean. Because it's been so long, you know, I promised myself, what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, cool. GG's. Promised myself I would go a little bit longer today. You know. Because again, like this... This mod is fun. This is probably the area I've seen the least changes in, in terms of enemy placement. They've kept most of the enemy placement here, as is. Which is, you know, I guess you can un understand, there's not much you can do about this place, right? Except put a cyan knight here, just for show. A cyan knight or two would never hurt any game. Oh, this is going to be the... They're going to put the boss... I know there's a fog gate here anyways. But... I can almost imagine them actually putting the boss here. <laughs> Some boss. Soul of a weary hunter. Oh, you respawn. Okay. That's kind of the trick, the respawning. Because this channeler was a non-respawning one, for sure. One hundred percent. I really don't know. Like what you are supposed to do with the uh, the doll. It said to come here. But it didn't say come where. Scarlet Bloss? What? Ke? Ke ke ke? Restores health temporarily. Numbs pain temporarily but with extraordinarily bitter aftertaste. Okay. The pulsating leaves have a faintly malevolent aura. Oh, it's a shit flower. Okay. That's the issue, boys. I mean, I guess all flowers are shit flowers if you count fertilizer. And then we're back here. Uh. <laughs> Maybe you have to go back to the the thing there. It's possible. I don't know. I do not know. One thing for sure, 
that I do know is what... Well, first of all, I have quite a few souls. Second of all, I have upgrade materials. So I think I'm gonna... I think I'll head back. Just trying to get to the nearest bonfire. I think we'll head back to the parish, to Andre. Get our weapon upgraded. Plus, if I go up to Sans Fortress, uh, there's that schmuck who sells the large shards, you know. The dude that's floating. I don't know what his name is. And from him, we can also buy large shards, you know. Because now we have an easier access to this place. We don't have to go like halfway around the world to get here. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like we got shit done. That Capra Demon fight, I swear. I must be like stoned or something. That was... He's for sure going to show up later in the game. I mean, obviously. But the question is when. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead. It's in the description. Make sure to give me a follow. Gonna be streaming tomorrow at 9 p.m. CET. Hope to see you guys there. And until then, peace out.